When Matt came to High Watch, the first thing that struck me about him was uh, how guarded he was. It might have been like my fear because I was actually going to get some real help finally. You know, I've been on parole or probation since I was 18 years old. One of our therapists, uh, Tammy Joe at High Watch, had recommended that we take a look at, at Matt's case. And I had a friend who worked at High Watch, Tammy Joe, who was just calling me, just doing what good people do. And I joked with her to see if she could get me into High Watch. He had a reputation for being a um, smart, funny uh, guy that had been stuck in the system, in and out of treatment, in and out of jail. So Tammy Joe called me the next day and said they had an opening for a Wilson bed. At High Watch, we have the Wilson bed program. It was developed by Bill Wilson. Um, Bill would raise funds and send that up to High Watch, and that enables people who otherwise wouldn't have access to uh, the level of care that we provide to be able to come to High Watch on a, on a charity program. Uh, I arrived at High Watch on January 19th, 2019. It was the dead of winter. So it was winter time, and there was ice on the ground, I had to do my laundry, and I had a physical disability still. He was incapable of walking around without a cane, so he needed to carry all of his laundry and items back and forth through terrain that at times was snowy or icy. Anyone in between was asking if I needed to do help doing my laundry and I, I just wouldn't accept the help. He didn't want any help. If he didn't want anybody helping him with his laundry, he sure wasn't gonna be interested in telling much more of what, what was going on with him. I didn't trust anyone here yet. I came up here with the one purpose, to get off probation and then leave. So the next day I'd gone into Tammy Joe's office uh, where Matt was, was in there talking with her and I had, had an opportunity to sit down and speak with uh, him and Tammy Joe. And he had asked me to share my story with him. And, and I just asked him to tell me, tell me what got him here, to tell me his story. And we probably spent over two hours. I spent about two and a half hours in that office with Tammy Joe and Jerry kind of explaining like what had happened throughout my life. The next day after that conversation, Jerry had called me down to his office. Um, just to kind of chat, and during that conversation, he asked me if I'd stay for a year. I wanted a commitment from him that he was going to be invested in the program and doing the work there that he needed to do on himself. I said yes. I didn't think twice about it. Like, this is literally, like, the best my, like, living adult situation has been. He just generally wanted the help, and he said, you know, we're going to find a doctor, and we're going to get your leg better, and we're going to fix your leg. Because I was going to make a personal commitment to him that um, I would be there every step of the way with him. Before I went in to the actual surgery, he was in the room, and then when I woke up, he was in the room. He told me he would be there every step of the way, and he was there every step of the way. You could slowly see uh, week by week, month by month, that he was slowly changing. You know, I was at a good spot doing the work in the program, and I finally found a point like where I was, I had hope for life, like my life was gonna get better. By the end of the summer, he was, he was a different person. At High Watch, I finally got out of the system. I was finally off probation for the first time. After my year commitment was fulfilled, they had a place for me. He transitioned from being uh, a guest with us into being a staff member, and he's full-time in school now, he's working full-time, and he runs a little program for us now. I feel okay with life on life's terms. He's the person today that he always deserved to be. It was like the first time I really felt like someone was on my side and they're, they're here to help.